Physician Quality Reporting System 2013 Group Practice Reporting Option Value-Based Payment Modifier Program Year 2013 In this presentation, we will discuss what is the value-based payment modifier, PQRS and the value modifier, quality tiering, value modifier 2015 policies, the timeline for value modifier, actions and next steps, current and upcoming webinars, resources, and technical assistance information. This presentation will cover the PQRS Group Practice Reporting Option. To participate in GPRO via the Medicare Shared Savings Program, the Pioneer ACO Program, or CPC Initiative, please consult the respective program requirements. What is the Value-Based Payment Modifier? The Value Modifier assesses both quality of care furnished and the cost of that care under the Medicare Physician Fee Schedule. It provides differential payment based on performance on both quality and cost measures. We will begin phasing of the value modifier in 2015. The phasing will be complete by 2017. For calendar year 2015, CMS will apply the value modifier to groups of physicians with 100 or more eligible professionals. Groups must take action in 2013 to avoid a downward adjustment in 2015. The value modifier is based on participation in PQRS. CMS urges solo practitioners and physicians in smaller groups to participate in the PQRS now because we anticipate the value modifier to apply to all physicians by 2017. Groups of physicians with 100 or more eligible professionals must use the PQRS GPRO reporting mechanisms available to them in 2013 for purposes of the 2015 value modifier. The reporting mechanisms available are the GPRO web interface, CMS qualified registry, or administrative claims. This does not apply to groups of physicians in which any of the group's physicians participate in the Medicare Shared Savings Program, Accountable Care Organizations, the testing of the Pioneer ACO model, or Comprehensive Primary Care Initiative for 2015 and 2016. Reference which reporting method is right for my group, Parts 1 and 2 webinars for information on the PQRS GPRO reporting mechanisms available to groups. The chart on slide 8 shows how you will be assessed the value modifier based on whether you participate in PQRS or not and if you elect quality tiering or not. Quality tiering will determine if a group's performance is better, the same, or worse than their peers and identifies statistically significant outliers based on the quality of care and cost of care measures. This could result in an upward, downward, or no payment adjustment based on performance. The quality tiering methodology uses domains to combine each quality measure into a quality composite and each cost measure into a cost composite. Each group receives two composite scores based on the group's standardized performance for example, how far away from the national mean. This approach identifies statistically significant outliers and assigns them to their respective cost and quality tiers as shown in this table. Value Modifier 2015 Policies Performance year is 2013. Group size is 100 or more eligible professionals. The available quality reporting mechanisms are GPRO web interface, qualified registries, or administrative claims. The outcome measures are all-cause readmission, a composite of acute prevention quality indicators, which include bacterial pneumonia, urinary tract infection, and dehydration, a composite of chronic prevention quality indicators, which includes COPD, 
heart failure, and diabetes. The cost measures include total per capita cost measure, which is an annual payment standardized and risk adjusted Part A and Part B costs, total per capita cost for beneficiaries with four chronic conditions, which include COPD, heart failure, coronary artery disease, and diabetes. The benchmarks are group comparison, quality tiering is optional, and the payment at risk is a negative 1%. This timeline depicts key dates for the value modifier. Actions groups of 100 or more eligible professionals should take in 2013 for the 2015 value modifier. 1. Register as a group in the Physician Value Physician Quality Reporting System Registration System during the period of July 15 through October 15, 2013. The registration system can be accessed at this link using your IX user ID and password. Step 2. Select a PQRS GPRO reporting mechanism, which includes a web interface, CMS Qualified Registry, or Administrative Claims. Note, groups whose physicians participate as individuals in PQRS must register as a group and elect Administrative Claims for the value modifier. Step 3. Determine whether to elect the quality tiering approach to calculate the value modifier between July 15 and October 15, 2013. Quality and resource use reports have been released on September 16, 2013 at the TIN level to all groups of physicians with 25 or more eligible professionals based on 2012 data. These reports are a way to help educate groups of physicians about how the value modifier could affect their payment under the physician fee schedule. The next steps are get a new IX account or modify an existing account as soon as possible at this link. From July 15th through October 15th, 2013, the Physician Value Physician Quality Reporting System Registration System will be open and can be accessed at this link using your IX user ID and password. As of September 16th, 2013, the 2012 Quality and Resource Use Reports will be available for group practices with 25 or more eligible professionals. Look for these other 2013 PQRS GPRO webinars on the CMS YouTube site at this link. These include 2013 PQRS GPRO 101 Parts 1 and 2 and 2013 GPRO Reporting Mechanisms Part 1 and 2. Upcoming webinars include Publicly Reported Information, Measures, IACS, and Clinician and Group Consumer Assessment of Healthcare Providers and Systems, or CG CAPS. We also intend to host live training sessions on GPRO reporting following the close of registration, which is scheduled for October 15, 2013. You can find more information on registration, PQRS, the GPRO program, and the value modifier at these links. For questions about the value-based payment modifier, please contact the Physician Value Help Desk Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time, via email at pvhelpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or via telephone at 1-888-734-6433. Press Option 3. The TTY number is 888-734-6433. 6563. You can also contact them via fax at 469-372-8023. For assistance with the IAC sign-up process or registering in the PV PQRS registration system, please contact the QualityNet Help Desk Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time via email at QNetSupport at 
sdps.org via telephone at 866-288-8912. The TTY number is 1-877-715-6222. You can also contact them via fax at 888-329-7377.